to the creek. You can see it's really nice today. Beautiful day, I'll probably take my coat off. But I came in here, I saw some fragments up here, some shards. So I came down to this flat area. So if anything falls off the hill here, it's gonna come down into this flat area. And as I was poking around down here, I popped out a nice Carter's Inc. Right here. Bright turned purple too. On the base, it's weakly embossed. It says Carter's. This is blown in a mold too. Very nice. That's my first hit today, guys. I'll get back to you. Guys, uh, I found out that this ink had a big uh, crack in it. I didn't see there. And a big chunk out of the side, so I won't keep it. But I came over to this spot. It's not in a new spot. I'm a little up from the river, uh, creek now. I popped this little baby out. Beautiful little glass stopper. I don't know if it, let's see if it has anything on the top. Nope. But it's beautiful. It's clear, solid glass. Nice, that'll fit into one of my bottles very nicely. All right, I will get back to you. I'll be getting back down in there. All right, down here, just popped up this nice mason jar lid. Right here. I don't see anything on the outside embossed, but yeah, this is the wire bail version. Let me just tap this. Uh, yeah, it's clear. It doesn't have uh, any embossing on it. Cool nonetheless. I keep these, as you know. Nice air bubbles in there. All right, I'll put it here on my jacket next to the stopper. And I'm getting back down in here. I'll get back to you. All right, I popped something out down here. which really looks cool. Looks like it has some sort of faro on it. See that? Has a chain. I'm going to try to remove it as best I can without breaking it. Oh my goodness, this thing is cool. Holy cow, look at the size of that chain. Let me lay it out here for you in the sun. Sorry about the shakiness, that's me. Look at that. Is that wild? I have no idea what this came from. <laughs> They're both sides have the same embossing on it. What do you think, guys? Part of a wind chime, maybe? Long chain on there like that? That's intense. I like it. Actually, I love it. All right, I'll get back to you. All right, amigos. Treachery is my game. Now, those are my feet. That's about a 10-foot drop into the river there. Now, if you look over here, you see that little green bottle? I don't know if that's a Piso's Cure or what, but man, it's a beautiful green color. I'm gonna risk my life here. I gotta get down and get that bottle. It would be heresy to leave that bottle to fall into the creek. And if it's not whole, I think I wasted my time, but it looks whole from here. All right, when I get, when I get it out of there, I'll let you know, okay? Because it's pretty tricky right now and I don't wanna uh, carry the phone and do all that, okay? All right, let me get back to you. All right, guys, I risked life and limb. I got way down there, got the bottle. GW Merchant Lockport, New York. Look at that applied lip, guys. This is an oldie. Yeah, the even the embossing on there. But look at that base, how crude it is. Look, it is really cracked up there. But you know what? I worked hard to get this thing. I'm keeping it. All right, guys. Let me get back to you. Good morning, guys. I was just going through this, like, little dump area here. And look at this. This is some kind of post-it sign. I pulled it out as far as I could, obviously. The little brass sign on there says N-E-W. And you know what that means, right? You see the W is kind of off to the side? One way. This is a wicked old one way sign. Unfortunately, it's broken. Otherwise, I would take this, I don't know, I'd say it's 75 pounds, and uh, bring it to the car if it were whole. But man, isn't that beautiful? Holy cow. I would have put that in my yard in a heartbeat. Same thing on the back. You can see that. E 
W-A, which meant one way. God, guys, look at that. You know darn right well if that were whole. I would sprain a whole lot of things getting that home. All right, I'll be getting back to you. That is beautiful. I would say that's 20s all day. All right, I'll get back to you. Good morning, YouTubers. Today's a new day. I was looking down here at this bottle, which is kind of cool, the screw top. Nice little design on it. I, I won't be keeping it, apparently. But as I looked up over there, I see a half pint milk laying down there on the ground. See it? That little white looking thing there. All right, let me just get through the sticker bushes here. Always a treat. Yeah. Sorry, I'm getting stuck to, to death here. Here it is, right there. That's definitely a half pint. Let's hope that it's, it's whole. Let's reach down there. Let's see what we got. Oh yeah, look at that, guys. Get the sand out of it. A Puritan half pint. Beautiful. Puritan dairy. Perth Amboy, New Jersey. How oh, cool. All right, guys. Oh, wait. Guys, look over there. I, I don't know if you could see it, but I see another one. Right over there. See it? All right. This is, this is hell in here, guys, by the way. Let me go over there. Let me make my way through all these sticker bushes. As you can see, it is insane here with sticker bushes. Look at these. I'm in front of me all over the place. So let me get over there first, and then I'll uh, let you know what it is. All right, I'll get back to you. Guys, from this point here, I'm still getting through the sticker bushes here. I'm going to do it live. You can hear me scream. Now, that looks like a half, half pint Bordens, actually. It's not a Puritan. That's definitely a Bordens. That's a half pint Bordens right there. No question about it. Look at that. Yeah, see, it says there's like a, a shadow on it. Says Borden's. Look at that. All right, two half pints today, guys. Pretty cool. We got a Borden's and a Puritan. Nicely done. All right. Seems like I found a good spot. Unfortunately, I'm getting. It's a good thing that I. My blood clots because I got so many scratches on me. Hey, let me get back to you. Okay, as I was coming out of the briar over here in the sticker bushes, I looked down, saw this piece of glass. I already pulled it. It's a Listerine. It's a screw top Listerine. Pretty good sized one. But I don't collect uh, Listerines. I have plenty of those. All right, I'll get back to you when I come across something else. I know those of you that have been following my channel know that I like to hunt for bottles. And occasionally I'll dig for them. But here, we're in the middle of the woods, again, which I love to do. This is what I really enjoy. I like going out to hike and hunt for bottles. It's very healthy, and occasionally you come across some good things. Ow. Like the uh, two half pint milks. But you look at this. I mean, you could really be cut to shreds in here if you aren't careful. I always follow the deer paths because at least I know they're flattened out. And you, so you can't go into, into that direction or anything because of all the sticker bushes. So I have to follow the deer paths so I don't get all messed up. It's not like I'm not. But... <laughs> Oh, beer cans, always a good sign. At least you know people were out here. I figured I'd take you on a little trip. Let's see what I do. Now, honestly, it's a blast. Because I found bottles out here that are Civil War era. Well before I uh, be got my YouTube channel. I found some really, really old bottles out here, and I still continue to walk this place 
a lot and I still find stuff most mostly bottles I found buttons I found military buttons and stuff like that I've even found military pins out in these areas all right now I'm gonna have to head off oops sorry gunner I'm gonna have to head off that way look down there that is a complete thorny area and I'm not going through there all right so I'm gonna make my way through here and I'll get back to you peace all right I had a reverse track here guys that was impassable if I tried to get through it most likely I'd need a blood transfusion because it was loaded with sticker sticker bushes and briar and all that stuff so I'm gonna wake make my way back to the road here and uh, I'll get back to you